Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today's Friday. We made it to Friday. Yes. It is June 28th. It's hot. We actually hit 90 degrees. It was it was perfect this morning. But by 1 o'clock, I mean, it, it, it heated up really quick. So, I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, yes, I did watch the debate last night. And uh, I will say this. They did have some good questions. Um, it took both of them a few minutes to even answer the question. But uh, if that would have been a boxing match, Biden would have been out in the first round. <laughs> and if anybody watched it, and like I said, body language and the facial expressions and Biden looked lost quite a few times. It was it was something else. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that because that's all they're talking about now. So I found an article that I'm going to share. I hope everybody enjoys this. So let's get to it. The rare white buffalo calf in Yellowstone, a symbol of hope and unity. Now, this was posted four hours ago. This There's a new white buffalo. The date is 6-28-2024 at 12-54, uh, almost 1 o'clock. Because I, I was looking at it, I was like, I've heard of the, the white buffalo before. Anyway. A rare and extraordinary event occurred in Yellowstone National Park, where a white buffalo calf was recently sighted. This event has captured the interest of wildlife enthusiasts and Native American tribes, emphasizing the special significance of this unique animal. The rarity of the white buffalo, uh, it says white buffaloes are especially rare with estimates indicating that only one in every 10 million buffalo births result in a white calf. This rarity is due to a genetic mutation affecting the buffalo's coat pigmentation. For centuries, many Native American tribes have revered white buffalo as sacred, symbolizing hope, renewal, and unity. For <clears throat> various Native American tribes, including the Lakota, Dakota, Nakota, really? Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota, and the Plains tribes, the white buffalo holds profound spiritual meaning. Tribal lore often portrays the white buffalo as a harbing, harbinger of peace and prosperity signaling a time of renewal and harmony. The birth of the white buffalo is considered a sacred event, often viewed as a message from the creator. News of the white buffalo calf's birth has brought tribes from all over the nations together. In West Yellowstone, Montana, hundreds gathered outside Yellowstone, Yellowstone's National Park cheering as a Native American leader revealed the name of the rare white buffalo calf. Wow, should I even try it? Wanaka Glee, which means return sacred in Lakota. And I probably butchered that. This moment was the highlight of a Native American religious ceremony commemorating the calf's birth, featuring dancing, drumming, singing, and retelling how a mysterious woman brought a message of reassurance during difficult times. Earlier this month, the white, the white buffalo calf was born in Yellowstone's expansive Lamar Valley, where numerous bison graze, evoking scenes of the old American West. For the tribes that revere American bison, referred to as buffalo, the calf's appearance fulfills a sacred prophecy and conveys a message to take better care of the earth. 
I'm trying. The National Park Service has stated that they have not yet verified the buffalo's birth in the park, although they are aware of the social media posts. They are actively searching for the calf to confirm its birth location. Despite this uncertainty, the tribe's celebration and the reverence for Waka Lee remain strong. The white buffalo calf has emerged as a powerful symbol of unity and hope, uniting people from diverse backgrounds and beliefs. The collective reverence for this rare creature underscores the importance of preserving cultural heritage and respecting the natural world. As tribes gather to celebrate the white buffalo, it serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all life and the enduring spirit of community and cooperation. So there you go. But uh, it sounds like Yellowstone wants to confirm, but uh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. And I kind of knew the story behind the white buffalo. Uh, and I knew it was sacred to the, the Indian tribes. So there you go. There is hope. So other than that, that's all I got. I'm, I'm going to chill. I worked, uh, I, I worked my regular pace at work. It just, it got, it heated up on us. I was ready for a nap at two o'clock. Plus I stayed up past my bedtime last night watching that stupid debate. I think I went to bed at 1030. I, I usually, 10 o'clock is the latest I stay up during the week. So, but anyway, this is Wolfang. Happy Friday. I hope you all have a great weekend. Blessed be, stay safe. And I will bullshit with you later. It looked like Merlin just waved. <laughs> Bye.